Hello everyone and welcome back to the fourth part of the Ethos series. In today's video I'm gonna show you how to mine Ethereum, Zcash and Monero on either Nvidia or AMD graphics cards. For the Ethereum miner well, that's a combined miner, you can just use it for NVIDIA or AMD. But if you are using NVIDIA graphics cards or AMD graphics cards to mine Zcash or Monero, you will need to use two different miners for either NVIDIA or the AMD graphics cards. And luckily we also included those scripts on our website. So what you can do is go to the link in the description below and go to the page. And what you need to do is just copy paste the desired coin you want to mine. The only thing you need to change are the clock settings or overclocking if you already know how to do that. And of course your wallet address. But for the rest, this is actually fairly simple. So I'm going to give you a few examples on how to do this. Okay, so what I want you guys to do now is make use of the part three that we have done. So we remotely configured our mining rigs with the config maker link that is provided for your script. So what are you gonna do is go to the link in the description below and go to the web page I mentioned before where all the mining scripts are for the desired coins. And what we're gonna do here is we have an Nvidia mining rig for example. And what we're gonna do is just copy paste the Ethereum uh, script that we set up over there and this one is compatible for Nvidia and AMD at the same time because Claymore Miner has developed Nvidia and AMD in a single miner there and that's why this one is fairly the most simple one to use. The only thing you need to change is your wallet address and the desired pool where you want to mine on. So as soon as you paste this into your config maker, you don't actually have to restart your mining rig. So what you also can do is sudo put configuration and end ethos overclock so that you actually put the overclockings that you put onto the script as well are going to be set on your mining rig. If you are planning to mine Zcash or Zencash, it's, it's kind of pointless at the moment with the new ASIC miners, but I'm going to cover it for people that still want to mine Zcash or Equihash based coins. So if you're going to be using Nvidia, we're going to be using a global miner EWBF Zcash miner. And for AMD, you will have to use a Claymore Zcash miner. So that's why there are two different scripts. And as I said before, uh, the only thing you need to change here is the wallet address and the pools you want to mine on. For Monero, this is exactly the same. Nvidia will make use of the CC miner inside of Ethos, and for the AMD graphics cards, it will make use of the Claymore XMR miner. So one small note again is Monero recently forked to a new Kryptonite V7 algorithm, and you will need to change this in the CC miner flags or in the Claymore miner flags because this is now a new algorithm and if you are actually mining on the previous version it will give you false shares so make sure you put in the correct algorithm because who knows Claymore is uh, I mean Monero is going to fork in the future once again you will have to change this algorithm once again but of course you can always check which algorithms are supported in these two miners so you can see which one or which coins you can actually mine with them so now that you know how to mine ethereum zcash and monero the three main currencies that we are actually mining on ethos we could even cover ravencoin maybe in a future video but for now i'm gonna keep it on to these three coins to make it more simple but what we know now is we can also mine alt coins that are based of these three coins and we are going to be going a little bit more in depth on which scripts they are so hopefully i see you guys back on ethos part 5 where we will cover ethereum based cryptocurrencies like Pearl, Ubik, Dubai Coin, and Ethereum Classic. Because those are the five main ones I mostly think are the best ones to cover in this tutorial. Of course, there are more Ethereum 
algorithm coins but it's just gonna work the same so it's just five examples and you can of course get this for 20 coins at the same time so hopefully you all enjoyed this video and see you guys in part five